Hello and welcome back. So in the last lecture, we learned what is an environment variable, why we need an environment variable for NSGS application and how to create an environment variable. So in the last lecture, we created a .env file, which is storing all the environment variables, which we need for our NSGS application. Now, currently we have only learned how to create an environment variable. But in this lecture, we are going to learn how we can use those environment variables in our NestJS code. And for that, we are going to use a package called config module. So the config module of at NestJS slash config package, it is a NestJS official package that provides a robust way to load and access configuration settings throughout your application. It basically simplifies the process of handling environment variables, custom configuration files, and other configuration sources. Now, in order to use config module in our NestJS application, we need to install this at NestJS slash config package in our NestJS application. So for that, let's go to VS Code. And in the last lecture, we created this .env file. And inside this .env file, we created these environment variables. Now, in the last lecture, I wanted to create this .env file in the project root folder, but it has been created inside this source folder. But that is not a problem. Okay. So now what I want is, I want to use these environment variables in my NestJS application. Maybe let's say I want to use it in this user service class. So in order to read and use these environment variables in our NestJS application, first we are going to install NestJS slash config package. And for that, let me go ahead and let me open VS Code built-in terminal. Let me select command prompt here. And here, let's write npm install command. And we want to install at NestJS slash config okay and if you want to install a specific version of nestjs slash config you can specify at and then you can specify the version of the nestjs slash config package which you want to install but here i want to install the latest package of nestjs slash config let's press enter and let's wait for this package to be installed from npm all right, so the package has been installed and just to verify that it is installed properly, let's go to package.json file. And in there, if you go to the dependencies section, you will see that this package nestjs slash config has been installed and the version which has been installed for this package is 4.0.1, which is the latest version for this package. Okay, let me close this terminal and let me also close this package.json file. Now, once we have the config module installed, the next thing which we need to do is we need to import that config module in our main module. And for this application, the main module is app module.ts file. So in here, I'm going to write an import statement and we want to import config module from nestjs slash config. And we also need to add this config module in the imports array. And we have to add it in the imports array of this at module decorator. If you see, we also have this imports array, the second imports array, but this is the imports array of type ORM module. So what I'll do is let me move these import statements in a separate line to make it more readable. Okay, and I'll also format the document here. So you will see that this imports array, it is the imports array of type ORM module but we have to import this config module inside the imports array of this module decorator. So I'm going to import this config module in the imports array of module decorator just before this type ORM module. And on that, we need to call for root method. Now, why we are calling this for root method is because here I want to set some configurations for this config module. And for that, I'm using this for root method. In there, we need to pass an object, which is the configuration object. And using this object, we can set some configurations for the config module. And the most basic configuration which I want to set here is, I want to set this is global to true. That simply means that 
when we are importing this config module we don't want to just import it for the app module instead we want to import this config module for the entire application that means this config module should also be available in other modules and not just in app module and for that we are setting this is global to true if you don't do this in that case let's say if you want to use the config module in some other module maybe in user module there also we will have to import it we will have to add this config module in the imports array of user module and then only we can use the services provided by the config module but here when i have set this is global to true now this config module is imported for all the modules it is imported globally okay so let's save the changes here we don't need to do any more changes here and actually we also need to set the path for the environment variable because config module it will not know where is our dot env file present here we have created this dot env file inside the source folder if we would have created it in the root folder with the name as dot env at that time we will not have to specify the path of this dot env file explicitly but here we need to specify the path because this dot env file is not present in the project root folder it is present in the source folder and to specify the path of dot env file here we can say env file path we can use this env file path property and the dot env file is present in the source folder and inside that we have this dot env file okay but if we create this dot env file in the root folder in the project folder so what i'll do is let me copy these settings and let me delete this file and now i'm going to create the dot env file in the root folder so here i'm going to create dot env and now this dot env file is present in the root folder in the project folder there i'm going to paste the settings which i just copied let's save this file and now what we can do is here we can specify the environment file path as dot env so it will look for a dot env file in the root folder or if we don't specify it by default this config module is going to look for a file named as dot env in the root folder in the project folder and in the project folder we have a file called dot env so this file will be read by the config module and all the environment variables which we have inside this dot env file that will be loaded by this config module okay so these are the changes we need to do in the app module.ts file let me save the changes now we want to use the environment variables which we have inside this dot env file in our nest.js application so let's say i want to use this env mode environment variable in maybe user service.ts file so let's say i want to use it inside this get all users method now in order to read the environment variables again what we need to do is we need to import config service okay we need to import config service from nest.js slash config package remember that here i am importing config service and not config module since we have already imported config module globally by setting this is global to true we don't need to import this config module for user module explicitly okay we don't have to import the config module in the user module also we don't have to add it in the imports array of user module because here we are importing it globally okay and we need to import this config service because using this config service only we will be able to read the value of environment variables from this dot env file and config module know about this dot env file because in the settings since we have not specified the file path for the environment variable by default it is going to look for a dot env file so in the root directory we have this dot env file it is going to look for this dot env file and it is going to load all the environment variables which we have in this dot env file i hope this is clear 
all right so now let's go ahead and let's use the config service in order to read the value of environment variable so inside this get all users method what i want is i want to create a variable i'll call it as environment okay and to this i want to assign the value of this env mode environment variable and to read that first of all inside this user service class where we want to read the environment variable value we have to inject an instance of config service okay so for that here i'm going to create a private read only property i'm going to call it as config module and it is going to be of type config module okay so here we are telling nest.js to inject an instance of this config module and assign it to this config module property and actually it should not be config module it should be config service so i'm going to call it as config service and it is going to be of type config service Okay, so we are telling nest.js to inject an instance of this config service and assign it to this config service property. And now here inside this get all users method, I'm going to access that instance. So I'm going to access the config service and on that we can call a get method. And to this get method, we need to pass the name of the environment variable whose value we want to read. And we need to pass it as a string value. So here I want to read the value of this environment mode environment variable. Okay. So this get method, it will read the value of this environment mode environment variable and it will assign it to this environment variable. Now let me go ahead and let me log that variable in the console. Let's save the changes here. Now this method will be called from the user controller when a user will make a get request to this get users endpoint right so when a user will make a get request to this get users endpoint it is going to call this get all users method and when the get all users method will be called inside that we are reading the value of environment mode variable and we are assigning it to this environment variable and we are logging it so the value which has been assigned to this variable that will be logged in the terminal let's see that so let's just go to the terminal and let's see that everything is working as expected there is no errors as you can see we do not have any error the application has built successfully let's go to postman and from there let's open the endpoint this get all users endpoint this api call and here we are going to make a get request to this url to this endpoint and internally it will call this get all users method so if I make a request here, we have received the response. So we have received all the user details. And now if I go to the terminal, there you will see this value development has been logged. And this is the value which is assigned to this ENV mode environment variable. So we are reading the value of this ENV mode environment variable using this get method of this config service. And we are assigning it to this environment. And then we are logging it. So this is how we can read the value of an environment variable in our nest.js code. And for that, we have made use of config service. All right. Now let's go to appmodule.ts file. From here, first of all, let me remove this commented code. So now what we want to do is here we have this use factory method inside which we are specifying some settings and there we are hard coding these values but now instead of hard coding these values here also we want to read the value from environment variables and we want to assign the value stored in one of the environment variables to these properties let's see how we can do that in our next lecture and before we wrap up this lecture i also want to show you one more thing let's save the changes here and let me also remove this import statement because now we are not using this user class anymore let's save the changes let's close this user controller.ts file and let's go to user service.ts so here this get method it is of generic type so here you can also specify the type of value which you are expecting so here 
this env mode it is storing a string value so it is going to return us a string value so here you can specify that the value which we are going to get is going to be a string value something like this so this is also possible with get method all right so this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day